<sighs> this call is subject to recording and monitoring, and your location information may be collected and used by corrections and law enforcement personnel. To accept charges, press 1. Charge Yo. What's up, bro? What up? Busy, dog. Busy as fuck, homie. Nah, listen. I know you are. I know you are. But I need you, before we get into this conversation, I need you to explain to Ernie... I've explained it to him fucking 45 fucking times. I fucking sat with him yesterday while he was sitting next to me and said, turn your fucking phone on. And he said, oh, do it later. I'm, I've asked him 150 fucking times, dude. Fuck him with the fucking phone. I'll literally show him this fucking, I'm recording this right now. I will literally show him this recording as soon as he walks in this fucking door. Because I've said it to him 150 times. I can't fucking answer the phone like I used to. And I've told him a million times, like straight up dead ass on fucking Twitch yesterday was like, set your phone up. And he sat there and fiddled with his phone for a minute like he was doing it. And I'm assuming that he didn't do it. But as soon as he walks in this fucking building today, which is in fucking, hold on. Yo, that's so fucking As soon as he gets here in 40 minutes. It, when I call, it'll post a whole fucking message on my end that they gotta set it up. And then it'll say, we are now um, setting up a free call. So like, it's like he's trying to do it when I call. And yeah. it's not gonna... You can't do it that way. I know, you know what I mean? Fucking asshole. I know, Teddy. I already know that you're just doing. I know you're doing what you gotta do, Pimp. So and I he's fucking, I mean. and he's definitely super busy too. Like I have him I, I know that, running all over I, the place, I, but he can turn I, his goddamn. I do know that too. But he definitely needs to turn his phone on. I literally yelled at him yesterday for it, <laughs> and I haven't seen him today. So I'll just expose him. I'll just put it. I'm just gonna put it on the vlog. Be like, yo, vlog. Tell, tell Ern to put his fucking one of his best friends put money on his phone so he can talk to one of his best friends. How you guys doing? Oh, fucking. Busy, too goddamn busy all the fucking time. Everything's crazy. Yeah, like everything's just crazy. Job opportunities for just, just like life shit, you know what I mean? Like, fuck it, dude, I can do whatever you need me to do in New York and then do. I mean, I'm gonna need the money anyways, you know what I'm saying? Fuck it. Yeah. Right, so. Figure that out. Right. Right, just, I'm starting over. Like, you know, I'm like literally from scratch. No, so. you started over when you went in, sir. What did you say? You started over when you went in. I know. I know. I'm always right. It's okay. <laughs> oh, fuck out of here. What? <laughs> I'm not I'm not always right. Yo, man, um, I miss you, brother. I miss you too. Shit is so crazy. <laughs> My life is so nuts. Ugh. Well that's it. In a good way? How, how long are you gonna be on tour for? Almost three months. Wow. Yeah. Basically I basically leave uh -huh. here yeah, basically leave here in June, fly to fucking Portland, go down the western west coast through Texas. Louisiana, Florida, up the East Coast, Chicago, and then fly to Tokyo. Fly to Tokyo? Yeah. Well, fly to London, then Tokyo. I guess I'm gonna hit London first and then Tokyo. But it's like, yeah, full oh on. Oh my god, that sounds so <laughs> Yeah, this is a whole lot of work. And it's a lot of money. And I'm just tired already. How crazy is it to think back like when you got put away and I'm like in the back of the tattoo shop yelling and being like, I'm gonna build something. I don't know what it's gonna be, but I'm gonna build something. Yo, like, it, it, for Teddy, like, before, like, you know what I mean? Like, when, when I first got to Colorado, when you say that, would have been one thing. But like, I knew it. Like, I believed you too. Now, who would have thought that it would have been this massive? You know what I'm saying? I couldn't have foreseen that at all. Yeah, I was thinking like a, I was thinking like a doggy daycare or something. You could come work. <laughs> Just like you were even talking about how like when I got out, you were doing some type of block based thing. The two of us, you know what I mean? Oh, yeah. Like just talking about stuff but like even that it's just evolved in a way I couldn't have foreseen that I probably should obviously you didn't really even foresee it it's just and that's just how you are though man you know yeah. what I mean no really I mean that, that, you that, calling that, me a visionary are you calling me a visionary right now you know you're a visionary oh. would you not make me fucking keep saying it Jesus oh 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 Peace. Yeah, I love you too. Hit me up later. I'm over. Alright. Alright. Peace. Peace. Diddy bop. I'm early, though. Huh? I'm early. 10 o'clock. Is it already 10? 10 04. Uh, turn your goddamn motherfucking phone on. You acted like you did it yesterday. Hey, hey, hey. Yeah, get his ass. Cause, yeah, we got you today, hey. bitch. We got you. We got a recording of Diddy yelling at you. I'm not turning your phone on. Uh -uh, I'm yelling at you to turn your fucking phone on. You sat on Twitch yesterday and acted like you did it. 
I was like, do no, it right now. And I, did like, okay. that. Like, I forgot. I wasn't active. I said, do it right now. And you grabbed And I number. started going, and then I'm like, wait, it's this other number. I don't know how the fuck to do it. Do it right now. We're not finishing this conversation. It's What's like, the number? <sighs> yeah, that's the problem. How many times has he called you? You have to, you, you have to have your phone is a fucking heavy. Your phone's dry as fuck, man. You don't get no texts. Brandy asked me what time you're going to be home. That's about it. Call and secure the technology. The leading provider of the inmate. Fucking asshole. Promotional. Hey, we got a great promotion going, you know? Three nights for the price of zero. Would you like six years of free room and board? <laughs> Just commit yourself a fucking class two felony and you'll be here, no problem. Did you hear what he said? Never miss a call. Text talk to 77929. Yeah. You didn't hear any of that. They're going to transfer me to the other company right now. You can just do it. I'm telling you, just to you did it that way? I'm pretty sure. You can receive calls from a correctional facility. Press 1. If that is the right phone number for your account, press 1. Or give us a different phone. Oh, I'm telling you just to text it says set to account. Dude, you know, this this is why. Why? Because they made it simple. Seven seven nine two nine. Text the word talk. Talk to me. Seven seven nine two nine. This better not be a prank. Not a prank. Sex line. Yeah, we're also. What are you fucking nine? Is your mom gonna find your phone bill and like Ernie? What are these? Tap this to create an account and add funds today. Tap that. Yeah. <laughs> Tap that thing. Fucking dickhead. So what, you're taking the day off, huh? Well, if you call it that, but I've been in the shop since uh, 6.30 this morning. Sounds like a day off to me. And I'm here, and not really, oh, and I got- You're not really here? No, I am here. Facility, what jail's my man in? Otisville. Otisville. You can't tell him anything other than the fact that I keep telling you to do it. And I said, he's busy. Now, I'm not going to fucking lie that he's definitely gotten busier in the last, like, two months. But, my man literally sat there. Yes, you definitely fucking sat there. I'll go watch the fucking VOD. You fucking sat there and you're like, Alright, I'll do it right now. And you grabbed your phone. You probably looked at the camera and This like, thing is a fucking killer. Just, there's so much to put in here. These motherfucking... What, your name and address? But why do I have to change to talk to my man in prison? I want your info, dog. We're trying to put together, trying to triangulate your motherfucking goddamn location. Trying to find the big boss. I find the big boss. I am the big That's boss. That's what those dudes are sitting there right now. I don't know, let's listen to this phone conversation. We're like, dicks, fuck. Shit. Yeah. Let's go over that, guys. Yeah. You ain't getting nothing from us. Coppers. Try that on for size, copper. Hey, girl. Oh, oh, shit. Dude, I think the. Uh, what you're saying about the shoe is, is exactly why they would do it that way. Is that fucked up? Yeah, but you know, I get it. It's like they still want to shout out, like, you know, the big Hawaiian thunder Yo, shoe. shout out to Hurricane. Took out half of fucking yeah. Kauai. Well, that's Yo, why, that's shout, why they do Shout out to you. <laughs> shout out to you, fucking tumultuous fucking storm that destroys people's lives. Shout out, I want it on my foot. No, <laughs> Yo. no. Uh, <laughs> I got, yo, I got the Hurricane Katrina's. I got the Anikis. Yo, I got the Hugo's. Y'all remember Hugo from 92 fam? South Carolina, raise up. Yo, here's Petey Pablo to celebrate the fucking Hurricane Hugo. I have an I Survived <laughs> Hurricane <laughs> Andrew t-shirt from Cape Cod. The Hurricanes, that's what they should have done. It's just all famous Hurricanes. <laughs> then they would have done the Boxer Hurricane to fucking tie it all together. You know what yeah. I'm talking about? Yeah, yeah, the Hurricane, the guy that went to jail. Yeah. And, uh, I do know you're talking Denzel about. played him. I know that's the only way you know who No, because, yeah, because most Def did a song about it. Oh, yeah, 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 I think. We're gonna smoke this, and then I'm gonna rub. Really? What are you eating today? I ate yogurt with very healthy granola. <laughs> what is very healthy granola? Like, like very low sugar, like just like oat, nut, like, <laughs> like. <laughs> Your face. <laughs> yeah, it's not good. It's not the basic shit. Not like sugar sticky goodness with little chunks of chocolate or fruit or peanut butter, no, none of that. None of that. Oh, zero fat yogurt with Greek yogurt. That Chobani, I like that. No, but I'm just, it, it could help, right? Help what? What, be less fat, less fat. No, not really, it's not really how that works. Well, if I just ate a shit ton of fat, uh huh. I'd be fatter. No, that's not how that works at all. I know what you're talking about. If you about put a shit ton of gas in your car, what would happen? 
it would be full. <laughs> okay, that's it. Fat is just another macronutrient, just like carbohydrates and just like protein. So it depends on where the you know fat is coming from. But like would it be source. better to have more protein, less fat? That's too blanket of a statement. It depends on what your goals are, and it also depends on what you're doing, like your overall diet. My goals are to be sexy. Well, that's fine. There's multiple ways you can reach that. What I'm saying is, is that fat is not bad for you. You need fat to let go of fat. If you oh, yeah. went on a low, like a completely no fat diet or low fat no, diet. No, I'm not doing that. I'll eat steaks with fat. Yeah, that's fine. All but you also need to eat the other stuff, stuff too. But the granola's gotta have fat in it. Yeah, the granola has fat. And the granola has sugar, but it's only got four grams of sugar. But what I'm saying is, is that you just don't need to approach things like this has fat in it, I can't eat it. No, I'm, really, I'm not going to believe yeah. it because steaks have fat in it. French fries have, like olive oil has <laughs> fat. French fries part. Olive oil is fat. Yes, it is. And, oh, and Eureka! Hey. hey! But like that, a perfect example. Olive oil, I get it. It's fat. I put it in everything. Fish have fat. Meats have fat. I like that fat. I just don't want to. I don't know. I don't know. This, I'm winning this shit. But I'm running about eight miles right now. Well, currently you're standing in my living room. Yeah, what are we smoking on for the pre run? We're smoking on Capri Sun number three. Capri Sun. These are oh, the racers I'm starting to not be so into. Oh, after a review, after six months. Yeah. What's wrong with them? First of all, while running, I'm going to test it again today. I had low socks on, oh. but this shit, they're made to run. This is kind of hard shit. If it's a bit loose, mm. just digs. Also, I don't know, man. It's cool. I get it. They're like super tight and they can pull tight and all these kind of lines pull in and tight when you're running, but I don't know. There's, I'd rather run in an Ultra Boost. Like, I don't see the benefit to this over oh, the Ultra Boost. Ultra Boost for running. Aren't these the I racers? Know. I mean, that's what they call them, but I don't know. Their own name. They have this. This is supposed to be that. I used it for the snow. Then I was like, okay, I like these. They got a little grip to them. I don't even know anymore. Today's the real test. Okay. Damn, those look dope. That's, those are... I don't know which colors even what. Well, how about the one golden ticket winners is size 13? Oh, really? Yeah. That's a you birthday today. Tweeted. Oh, nice. Yeah. What a nice birthday present. Well, happy birthday to you, my man. Happy birthday, Nathan Landreth. <laughs> You're size 13 fucking We're going to start selling birthday shout out. Promote the tour. <laughs> yeah. It's two black balloons that says every night is emo night. Nice. Yeah, Nathan, $25 for amazing. a birthday shout out. Please, PayPal Dirty Earn. Wait, wait, PayPal me. Yeah. I didn't already earn to do the shout out. Yeah. Birthdays, engagements, bar mitzvahs, whatever. Whatever you Funerals. need. Funerals. Funerals, need a birthday funeral <laughs> shout out? Little combo we got. R.I.P. Most hype beast funeral yet, y'all. Most hype beast. Did you see that casket? They got the Louis Supreme casket, dog. <laughs> I oh my god. <laughs> this is the most hype beast funeral I've ever been into. The one of one. Got the one of one day. I got some Cardi B hate for you. What's wrong? I don't care about Cardi B, I just don't. You so I fail. listened to the album. Uh -huh. I had to, and I have trouble listening to girl rappers in the first Ooh, place. Sexist. God <laughs> damn, son. It's 2018. I'm just telling you the truth. I the just... truth? This is your truth. I'm not saying I'm against the rapping. They I can't just... do snowboard tricks. <laughs> <laughs> like, why can't y'all do snowboard tricks no. and y'all can't rap? No, a lot but, of it. ladies. What they the can book? rap. They can rap. It's great rap. Mm -hmm. I'm just not into it. But the subject matter, some of it. Most of it. There's a certain ones that I like. Nicki Minaj, I pretty much like I everything. I don't like you for saying that. Uh oh. Well. <laughs> you just said Nicki Minaj, pretty much everything I like. Are you serious right now? Not you like really it. just co signed Nicki Minaj's entire discussion? Did that really just happen? <laughs> Wait, let me. <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> her whole, All right. What? Okay. What were we talking about? We're talking about Cardi B. You had Cardi oh Cardi B. B. The first song. Have you heard it yet? No. I want, I want your reaction. You tell me what it sounds like. But uh, no. They gave a bitch two ops, stripping the loose. You dance in the club right across from my school. I said dance, not fuck. Don't get it confused. Had to set the record straight because bitches love to assume. Mama couldn't give it to me. Meat milk. The drop was terrible. That drop is off. Yeah, I can see it a little bit, but you know. There's only, only so many flows. Dude, I'm getting down with A Buggy with the hoodie, though. That shit is dope. <laughs> he apologized a little bit yet? I don't know. Mm. That shit, it, I like his stuff, man. Like, really. 
I hate when you do this A and R voice. It's very melodic. Man. Jesus. <laughs> I'm gonna start listening to country. Hello, call up Nashville. We got ourselves a star. Yep. <laughs> Wait. Good job. All right. Look at that face. Wait. <laughs> you see this face right now? Uh, <laughs> I can't. Wait. Wait. Oh! <laughs> Pop a peanut butter on it and go. Yeah. Keep doing it. I was zipping my pocket. Oh, uh, yeah. Before your eight mile run? Yeah. All right. About eight miles. I'm gonna listen to the soundtrack while I do it. What soundtrack? Eight miles. Oh, boys, we're back. I got to go eat this real quick, and then I got meetings for the next two hours or so. Then I'll be back home. Whoa, camera. Um, so today's a little all over the place now. I just got home. I'm about to eat again. So I had a salad earlier and I'm gonna eat. Um, I think I'm just gonna have, camera, are you falling? You are. Hi. Um, I honestly don't know what I'm gonna have. I need to figure it out, but probably just some meat and vegetables. Um, let's see. There's really not a lot to talk about as far as shoes go. I think the next thing coming is the undefeated collab. The Ultra Boost, everyone, we've seen these leaks forever. Like, everyone's been calling it lazy. It, it is, like, fairly lazy from a, uh, they're regular shoes. There's a black shoe, a white shoe, it's, and then it's got undefeated taping across the shoes that breaks the two shoes apart. So, we haven't seen that before. We really haven't seen, uh, words on Ultra Boost before via taping. So, that's different. I'll give it that. It's not, like, it doesn't impress people. And I think that nowadays, um, and not always rightfully so, but people want to be more impressed by their shoes. So as far as an Ultra Boost goes, it's a black and white Ultra Boost. There's really nothing else to say about it. Either you like it or you don't. There's a big controversy over whether it's 1.0 or 4.0. So the black pair looks like a 1.0 pair. The white pair looks like a 4.0 pair from all of the stock photos. The white pair is undefeated exclusive. The black pair is going everywhere and then there's also two Audi Zero pairs. A camo pair and a black on black pair. So four total shoes and there's clothes but I haven't seen all the clothes yet. I don't know what I'm gonna get. Well I do know I'm gonna get all the shoes and I'm not super hyped for this collab. I'm literally getting the shoes to check out. I just, you know, this is just kind of what I do. Um, but yeah, so shout out to all the plugs on those because I feel like as of today, I locked down the lasts of the four pairs. So that should be good to go. But as far as shoes go today, I just wore these gauches all day. I'll give you a quick down on these, but we just did these, honestly. I just reviewed the other pair for you. Pair, this is the pair I originally ordered. This is the pair they sent. So then I ordered this pair and now I have both. I like both. They're just two different yellows, two totally different vibes. So it's whatever, but it is an expensive shoe to accidentally get to. Um, this yellow is getting way dirty, but uh, there's really no change in my review whatsoever. It is the exact same shoe except for the color. I'll give you the quickness because I'm still getting out. Uh, it is true to size. I would not recommend really sizing down. Insole comes out. So if you absolutely have to, you might be okay. But my recommendation is not trail soul which should take you on a journey throughout whatever you want in high fashion because this shoe is made by gosha brojinski who is russia's premier fashion designer 35 year old filmmaker um 33 year old filmmaker I'm 35. The PK on this is amazing. It's got this double stitched pillow Copa toe box, which is super comfortable on the toes. The whole fit, the whole fit of the upper is really nice. I really like this PK with the different sized holes and the stitching and the way it changes. It's really kind of beautiful. I was in a meeting today and I caught myself just staring at the gradient of the PK. So I really do actually enjoy it. There's black stripes that are taped on to the PK, a clear Copa cage in the back, suede heel tab with Gosha Robjinski branding, boost in the heel, boost in the ball of the foot, laces that have 3M hits up on them shits. And that's pretty much it. Shoe is super sick. I really, really fuck with the Gosha. I didn't really know I was going to until a week ago, but I really like this. I really want them to give them a full boo shoe because I'd fuck with that too probably. And the clothes that I've gotten are awesome. Those Gosha sweatpants that I got are super sick. Probably one of the, you know, I've bought a lot of sweats, a lot of joggers. Quality's all over the place, but those are nice. Like I have some Y3 ones that aren't that nice, and but those are those are nice. Uh, I ended up buying all the colors actually, so um, 
Yeah. But you can never have too many sweatpants, man. I mean, pants, pants are pants. And I only really wear the same pants all the time. So, whatever. This is the shoe. That's pretty much my day. It's kind of a busy, it's kind of a clerical IRL day. I have a lot of business stuff to do today. And honestly, these next couple of weeks are just like planning. There's like a lot of planning going on. Uh, I'm gonna get back to it. I got a plan, I got to draw, I got a plan to draw. I've got a draw to plan and I've got to go. So I love you guys. I'll see you tomorrow. Peace.